Hoo hoo, hello, hi for space. My name is Devontos, and it's time to get hyped because this video is going to be a little different than something I usually do. I'm actually going to talk about Super Smash Bros. and a Switch, and why I feel like Banjo and Kazooie is already planned to be in Smash. Now, there's a lot of videos, people saying why they would be the perfect fit for Smash, because they have the perfect move set and all that fun stuff. But I've actually found a lot of evidence that basically point directly to Banjo and Kazooie being in Smash Brothers. So let's get into this and let me show you what I've discovered. So the Bear and the Bird first appeared in a Nintendo 64 alongside Mario 64 and all that stuff, but it's, people tend to argue and even say that Banjo and Kazooie and Banjo Tooie, the two titles that Banjo and Kazooie had in the Nintendo 64, are arguably better than Super Mario 64. You know, the man himself, they're saying that Banjo and Kazooie kind of outdid him in his own game. And he kind of disappeared when all this legal stuff with Rare Software, the guys who created Banjo Kazooie, was all floating around the place. And Microsoft bought him out and all that stuff. But there's a lot of things that's pointing to Banjo and Kazooie being in Smash Brothers. Here are some of my discoveries. So, let's start off with Rare. At the moment, Rare is owned by Microsoft, which is Xbox. Which is why there are no Banjo and Kazooie games on the Switch, and the latest Banjo and Kazooie game, Legend Bolts, released on the Xbox because, well, Xbox owns Rare Software. So let's actually step back and see what's happening between Nintendo and Xbox. With Nintendo and Xbox, they've been playing Buddy Buddy recently. If you know that Fortnite stuff was going on with the cross platform play from the Xbox and the Switch, and also, um, what was it, Minecraft has been announced for the Switch quite a while back, but Minecraft is owned by Microsoft. And I believe Minecraft is cross-platform play? I'm not too sure, but either way, Minecraft is owned by Microsoft, and you have a Microsoft title on the Switch, and they're giving some, you know, Nintendo skins, like a Mario skin and Luigi skin that you can give to Steve and all that stuff. Then there are these rumors about Steve being in Smash Brothers. Um, I can kind of see that. That, that can happen. I mean, Steve has all the skins he needs. He has Steve, he has what Alex, I think her name is, an Enderman skin and all this stuff. Steve can fit in Smash, and he has all the tools to do it. I mean, a villager can do it with all of his tools, so can Steve. So, Steve being in Smash, that can happen with the Microsoft Nintendo Buddy Buddy system, but I actually want to dig a little bit deeper to the stuff that's in Super Smash Brothers that kind of point towards Nintendo, Microsoft, and Rare. Let's actually start off with Crystal. So, you guys know Crystal, the Star Fox character from Star Fox Adventures? Star Fox Adventures was created, look at their uh, Wikipedia page, Rare! Oh, oh yeah, so Star Fox Adventures was Rare helped in their development. I cannot talk to it, I'm kind of stuttering all over the place, I'm so excited. <laughs> so, um, Rare helped develop Star Fox Adventures. Now, if you look at Crystal on the cover of Star Fox Adventures, that's the same Crystal they're using in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. The Rare design of Crystal. But that's not the only thing. Let's actually go over to King K. Rule. So, King K. Rule, everybody knows this devastating alligator. Um, the model that they're using for King K. Rule was the model designed by Rare Software. The Rare Software designed King K. Rule for Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong Country 2. I believe they did Donkey Kong 64, but either way, the King K. Rule model they are using is the Rare design. So they have Crystal from Rare, and they have King K. Rule from Rare. Now, this is what kind of gets me a little, you know, it kind of raises a little question marks. King K. Rule, he had multiple designs. He had a design from, you know, other DK games where he didn't have that signature golden belly. But Nintendo chose to take the Golden Belly, maybe because it fits his character better, maybe because he can have the armored stomach, but either way, that's the rare design of King K. Rool, and Nintendo took it, alongside the Crystal design for Rare, and they could have taken the Crystal from Star Fox Assault, or Star Fox, uh, what was the other Star Fox game, the one that Crystal's wearing tights? They could have taken that Crystal design, but they decided to go with the Crystal that's designed from Rare. And it gets even deeper than that. There's a mission in the Spirits mode in Smash Bros. this campaign thing. <clears throat> I forgot what it's called. I forgot the spirits that you have to fight, but I do know it takes place on a bridge, and you're fighting, I believe, three Simon Belmonts who do nothing but throw their axe. Let's actually get a look at that stage. This is the stage. Now, I'm Link. You see that the Simon Belmont's over there. Now, those Simons are just throwing their, their axes, you know, I have the game pause, all that fun, so whatever. So, look at, look at the map. This is Spiral Mountain. 
This is clearly Spyro Mountain. If you guys don't know, Spyro Mountain is Banjo and Kazooie's hometown. The reason I say this is Spyro Mountain, Link, he's standing at the beginning of the bridge where it hooks onto the Spyro Mountain itself. The Simon Belmonts are standing at the edge of the bridge where it leads to Gruntilda's lair. If you actually look in the back, there's a hole in the wall. If you played Banjo Tui, you would know that hole in the wall was formed by Gruntilda's sisters when they tried to, you know, come in and rescue Gruntilda from all that Banjo and Kazooie battles that they had, pick up the rock, save her sister, and all that stuff. But anyway, that hole in the wall leads to Jinjo Village. And it gets even deeper. The trees are actually modeled after the tree design for Banjo and Kazooie. And that waterfall right there, that waterfall is also in Spyro Mountain in the exact same place. Here's a picture of Spyro Mountain from the Nintendo 64. Now here's a picture of Spyro Mountain from Smash. It's the exact same stage. It, it's right on that bridge that leads to Grunty's Lair, and if Nintendo is willing to take a rare design of Crystal and put her in Smash, a rare design of King K. Rowe when they had their own design of King K. Rowe where he had the yellow belly, they could have taken that K. Rowe, but they took the rare design and put him in Smash, so why not just take Banjo and Kazooie and put him in Smash? On top of that, Sakurai has confirmed that he's getting these ideas for the characters, you know, like K. Rowe, and a Krom, he's getting these people, putting them in Smash, because those were the characters who were highly voted in the Smash poll that Bayonetta won a few years back. And we all know, according to fan polls, Banjo and Kazooie was way up there alongside Bayonetta and alongside Ridley. So I kind of feel like Banjo and Kazooie is being confirmed right in front of us, but nobody sees it, and it's mind-boggling, and I can't wait, and I really hope this comes true. For me, personally, the only people I wanted in Smash was Ridley, and well, everybody and their mother wanted Ridley in Smash, but this way, we got Ridley already. And uh, other than that, if I get either Shantae, preferably the Shantae design from Pirate's Curse, because I really like that Shantae design, and Banjo and Kazooie, but I mean, we already got Ridley, so I'm good, you know, I don't want all three. I would be perfect if I had all three, but one's, one's fine. Ridley's, Ridley's good enough for me, but, you know, it's tossing a little extra out there, and I'm just saying, what I discovered, I kind of point to Banjo and Kazooie, being in Smash. This is just insane. And all these leaks saying that, um, what was it, the Doom guy is gonna be in Smash? I don't, I don't know why he would be in Smash. I mean, what is the announcer gonna say? Be like, Doom guy! Or, or some of this. Like, what can he do? Would he be a clone of Snake? I mean, he doesn't really do anything but shoot and punch. I don't, I don't really, I don't really see the Doom guy being in Smash Brothers. And a lot of people are saying, uh, Ryu Hayabusa, I think his name was, the guy from Ninja Gaiden. Yeah, I could kind of see him being in Smash. I mean, we technically don't have a legit ninja in Smash, except for Sheik. And I, I, I guess if you want to count Greninja, but Ryu Hayabusa, yeah? Yeah, I could see him being in Smash. But all this stuff of Banjo and Kazooie, it's all here. I'm really hoping that Banjo and Kazooie make it in Smash. I also got a few theories about Shantae being in Smash Bros. I'm, I'm not really acknowledging this. It's just little little hints here and there. I mean, because they're obviously aware of Shantae. Shantae is a spirit in the spirit mode. But uh, you have Shovel Knight, who's an assist trophy. And everybody knows that huge war between Shantae and Shovel Knight. Who's going to be in Smash? And uh, Sakurai chose Shovel Knight to be an assist trophy. So if that's the case, why not take the other person who was part of that big battle, Shantae, and have her a character? On top of that, we can also use some more female characters, because... We all know Smash is loaded with dudes, and non-dudes is- is Rob a dude? Is Dark Samus a she? I mean, it's a parasite. But either way, we still need more waifus in Smash. And if you guys know, Shantae is waifu material. And we need that. What about the piranha plant? Is the per well, the piranha plant- PD Piranha has been confirmed to be a heat, so that means the piranha plant is a dude. This is really confusing. I just want more ladies in Smash, because at the moment, in my opinion, Zelda and Lucina are the only worthy waifus for me. So if you like this video, punch that like button with a mighty force. You can follow me up on Twitter at DevontosMan, and as always, I'll see all of you in the next video. Have a nice day!